And this was giving a, a temporary status, a two-year status to immigrant entrepreneurs, someone from another country, setting up a company here. And basically, this, is, this rule, which is not final, but it's, it's, we're still to propose, it should be final very soon if it's not rescinded by the new administration. So this basically allows someone who, if they own at least 15% of the company, if they were, uh, yeah, so a startup company within three years. Here's weird, I don't know where they get these numbers. They needed 345,000 invested from US investors, whether that's angel, venture funds, friends and family, what have you. But well, friends and family prop is a very maybe because it's a qualified investor. Generally, they want these investors to be someone with a track record, someone with a history, not just uh, going around the neighborhood with a tin can. Anyway, this is a, a Band-Aid for a real hole in the U.S. immigration system, which really does not support entrepreneurs from other countries. There's really very few visa categories that make sense in there, since most of the employment visas are based on an employee-employer relationship. And if you're the founder, you're not an employee, according to immigration. Some in this room may argue that, but you're going to lose if you're having that conversation with immigration.